I once said uh, I was going to do a video on uh, Shintoism, uh, which is the indigenous religion of Japan. Now, the samurais were mostly Buddhists because uh, um, it was one of those things that got imported from China. I know it originated in India, but over time, it went through China, and then it eventually came to Japan. Uh, the samurai were mostly Buddhist, but the indigenous religion of Japan is Shinto. And uh, it's an animistic religion. They believe in gods in the mountains, and there's like two million gods in Japan, according to Shintoism. My mother-in-law was a Shinto. Um, I mean, she's prescribed to the belief. Although it's kind of, it's different there. Um, it's real hard to explain. They say you're born Shinto, but you die a Buddhist. That's how it is for many Japanese families. Um, it's it's kind of, they draw on both religions, which I don't think a Christian or a Muslim could possibly conceive of, you know, of doing that because you have to be one or the other. But it's it's not like that so much in in uh, Japan. I mean, they'll, they'll blend their different religions um, and philosophies together. Okay. Um, my webcam cord won't reach this far. Otherwise, I'd show you over there. Um, my mother-in-law died last summer, and uh, we have a little shrine to her and her father, who also died last summer. Um, and then there's a picture of my um, wife's dog um, from Japan. Um, we've got pictures of all of them. We burn incense and uh, we burn cigarettes and uh, we have a little sake cup and I pour beer in it and like give it to them as an offering. And I know I shouldn't do this. I know I'm an atheist and it's all superstition. Um, but I, I, I think it's respectful. Even if I don't believe in ghosts, it makes my wife happy. So I do it, you know. Um, I don't know. It's... <laughs> It's more of a thing of respect, and there's like different uh, there's different times of the years where they do stuff. Like they burn sticks outside to like keep the evil spirits away. I don't know. It's it's really kind of strange. It's it's not a Western religion where there's this monotheism where there's one God. Um, if you boil it down real simply, I could th think it would almost be like a respect for nature and. Uh, natural forces, although if you delve into it deeply, I don't know, I'm not Japanese, I don't know, you know, like when we'd go up in the mountains, I'd be smoking a cigarette or something, or I'd have some trash, you know, that I was about to throw out of the car, being a dirty litterer that I am, my wife would go, no, we can't do that, the gods live here, um, you can't disrespect them, you know, so out of respect for her, um, I wouldn't do that, and see, that's the sort of thing where you know, having been exposed to Christianity from a young age, I can say all that is stupid, but when you're put in a different culture, um, I, I feel a certain amount of respect for their beliefs, even if I don't agree with, you know, I don't think there's any actual gods in those mountains. Um, however, I don't know. I mean, it, a lot of it has to do with you have a woman, you know, who, you know, she'll make your life a living hell if you kind of don't respect her beliefs. Even though she's an atheist, she doesn't believe in any gods or anything like that. Um, her mother kind of instilled this stuff into her. It, it's kind of like me being a Methodist and hating gambling. I just think it's a stupid waste of money. I don't I don't like gambling. And I think I got that from my Methodist upbringing. And I think that's a good thing because I think it saves me money. However, I don't know if I support the moral beliefs behind this hatred of gambling. You know, I've came up with my own rational reasons for it. Okay, for example, like there was this Muslim who was saying, why don't you fuck your mother and your sister and your daughter, you know, because you don't believe in God? Well, I think that's a weak argument because there's scientific reasons. Uh, besides our natural aversion um, for having sex with close female relatives that are related by blood, which is simply due to um, inbreeding, you know, I mean, it will cause genetic defects, you know, kids with two heads, so that's probably an exaggeration, but it will definitely cause bad birth defects. That's why the royal families of Europe um, have all these um, in genetic defects in their family lineages. I mean, look at Prince Charles, for example. I don't want to um, offend anybody who's British here, but the guy's got anemia problems. His ears are massive. His eyes are beady. I mean, that's where all the crazy-ass conspiracy theories come about him being a reptile, you know, and all that shit is because he's seriously, the guy's not, not good looking. I mean, he might be to Princess Diana, who was raised in a culture where, 
you know, she was told royal blood was sacred and shit. Well, anyways, I'm digressing here. To get back to Shintoism, I don't totally understand it. Um, I can tell you, like, the trivialities of it, but not, like, basically the philosophy of it, other than that there's hundreds of gods and you have to respect these gods, and they, like, reside all over Japan. Um, there are these shrines in Japan. I'll try to get um, some pictures and overlay them over the audio. And uh, you go up and you ring a bell three times. You clap your hands, I think it's three times. You throw some money in the donation, then you make a prayer. And supposedly it's supposed to come true. Um, you know, I tried it, I didn't think it was gonna work and I can't remember if it did or not, so it didn't seem that stunning. But you know, it's, it's kind of weird because you're in a different culture and uh, they have these little, I, I don't know if I'm using the right term, but they're like foo dogs. You know, and they guard the temple, and then you have the big Tory gates, and uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe they, the Japanese, get that excited when they go to like a Catholic church and see the stained glass. You know, I mean, it's just something alien. You know, alien to your culture, and I think that's a good experience for everyone. Um, I don't feel the same way about the. Well, we only have one mosque here where I live in Missouri. Uh, we have one mosque in town, and it's the Wahhabist kind. And you know. Um, Wahhabis, Muslims especially, they don't subscribe to um, any kind of graven images. Um, the building looks really military. Uh, my wife has my camera and she's in Japan right now, so I can't uh, show you what the mosque looks like, but I will make that a project. Um, it's right next to a restaurant that I like to eat at, so I'll take some pictures. Um, strangely enough, that Wahhabi mosque is actually not it itself, but some offices of a charity that were closely associated with the mosque uh, got raided by the FBI a couple of years ago um, because it turned out they were funneling money to these terrorist organizations in the Middle East. Um, I believe they were all Sunni, but I don't know all the particulars. They never released in the media. They always keep all that shit hush hush. Um, but anyways, uh, the Shintos don't do that kind of stuff. Um, there's been one Buddhist sect in Tokyo that released sarin gas, or it was some kind of nerve gas. I think it was 1996, 1997. Um, so there are Buddhist terrorists, but I don't know of any Shinto like that. And uh, while I know Timothy McVeigh didn't bomb Oklahoma City because of religion, it was surely for political reasons, you know, that's an example of a Christian terrorist. Um, if I'm wrong, if there are Shinto terrorists, definitely let me know because I would be very interested in that. And that would actually support my theory that religion does more harm than good. But I've noticed that there's a couple religions I really, really can't pick on. Uh, Jainism is one, totally nonviolent, inspired Gandhi. Um, they're a little too far hardcore for me because they wear veils so they won't breathe in insects. And uh, I'm, I'm opposed to killing mammals on uh, whenever it's not like self-defense. But I mean, bugs, I mean, they can be annoying, you know. I mean, in this apartment I live in, I get these uh, spiders called brown recluses. It's one of the strange, creepy, crawly, fucking things in Missouri that are just disgusting. And what they do is they bite you and they inject you um, with this poison that basically kills your flesh and makes it necrotic and then you'll get gangrene and shit if you don't immediately go to the hospital and get it all cut out. It's, it's They're terrible. I mean, these things are... I shudder. I mean, so anyways, I believe in killing insects. Uh, I believe in fishing. I, there's a lot of things I will do, but I mean, I don't, I don't enjoy seeing other mammals in pain because you can sympathize with them because... You know, well, I just can't. Maybe some people don't, but that's fine. Anyway, so I just uh, revealed my ignorance about Shinto for you. I wish it could be better, but I haven't felt like doing research. And, yeah, without research, you really don't know anything, do you? In stories of Japan, he's Kata Kiss the Dan. Get a guess the damned